Hello folks, this is Mystic38 with a brief uh, introductory tutorial to setting up Mobius to work as a looper inside of uh, Sonar. Okay, so uh, once you load the VST, the first thing you need to do in Sonar is come to the plugin manager uh, and um, you will find I pull up the plugin properties of Mobius. You'll notice that I looked in the VST instruments um, category. It will first load as a VST audio effect up here. Okay, so you open, um, open it up, select it, hit plugin properties, and it will show up as configured as a tempo bass effect. Select configure as a synth hit OK, and then it will move over into the VST instruments. All right, that's all you have to do there. All right, moving on. What I've done here is I ha actually have a number of my synths hooked up. I'll just be playing one for the purposes of this tutorial. And I am directing their outputs, as you can see over here, uh, down in the bottom left. I don't have that fancy yellow sphere following me around. Uh, but you'll see, actually pull it up on the I.O. You'll see that uh, we are, I'm sending um, the input, uh, which comes uh, through my Moto interface, is going to a bus uh, called Mobius. And I've repeated that for uh, all of these since. This allows me to have everything running and then control what's getting looped by, you know, enabling, disabling um, the mute switch. Uh, input echo is on. Uh, come down, I've created a bus uh, called Mobius, uh, which is receiving the inputs from your input track and is going out to the master. In, if, in its effects bin, I've loaded Mobius. Okay, And uh, obviously, as you know, you can come in here, you can uh, add a soft synth, and doo -doo -doo -doo, there would, would be right there. But it's already in, so I shan't do that, shall I? Okay, so that's it um, in terms of configuring um, sonar. Okay, uh, tracks coming in, going to a bus. The bus is running just the looper. You can still use all of these tracks for everything else. And in fact, you'll see here I have machine, and that's just running a very simple... Okay, just running a very simple loop just to show that we can keep in time, all right? So there's plenty of uh, demos and tutorials, but this is exclusively dealing with keeping everything in tight MIDI sync. So this is the uh, screen for Mobius. Um, in the description, I've put the web address where you can get this. There's a forum. There's a very hefty uh, manual help file. It's extremely comprehensive and capable of lots and lots of good stuff. In essence, what we have here, and this is set up by default, although you can change these, uh, we have eight what is called tracks. You can consider these as independent loopers. Uh, in each track, you can have a number of loops. Here I'm looking at track one. Uh, that's configurable. The default number is four. Only one loop uh, can be played at any one time within a track. You can um, overdub, uh, an overdub, an overdub, an undo and redo uh, to multiple levels. Um, that's all can be configured also. Um, what I'm just going to do here is show you how to set up the individual tracks um, so that you can synchronize to the host, that you will record uh, synchronized to measures and uh, that it will switch um, and uh, quantize into measure boundaries. Okay, so basically, so that we could use this as fundamental looper. Um, so I've created a couple of configurations here, but let's take a look, see what's important. Uh, there's a default setup that I, I've changed uh, to call it host. And the critical things you need to have uh, when you're using it within the door environment, the sync source must be host. 
The track sync unit here I've said is uh, cycle, uh, which in this case is a measure. Uh, I've called the preset sonar just because I can pull it up. So this you would do for each track, because each track is different, okay? Um, and then synchronization, the second tab, also needs to be checked. So the default sync source needs to be host. The default track sync unit I have set as a loop. And the, the MIDI slash host sync unit can either be uh, a bar or a beat. Um, I think a measure is just good enough for me. Uh, I've identified as four beats per bar. And that's all you have to do to get going right here for setting the tracks up. Um, the other thing to take a look at is um, the preset. So in general here I have four loops per track. There can be more sub-cycles. There's four per track. And then I've set my undo and redo. Um, that's for uh, of dubbing uh, to five. Uh, the quantize, these uh, may be set to off. I think they are on default. I've set these to cycle, um, which is, again is a, is a measure so that um, everything will quantize to a measure boundary. When you're switching uh, between uh, loops uh, within the same track, I've set this to uh, cycle, which is a measure I in my case. Uh, you could set this to loop, so one loop finishes before the next one starts as well, okay? Um, I've also checked this box here to quantize the overdub so that, uh, again, an overdub will occur on measure boundaries. Uh, you can, if you're more used to just um, stomping and holding an overdub, you can uh, hold, uh, uncheck this, and it will only overdub while you have uh, the button pushed. Okay. Uh, the record, there's auto record bars, a record threshold for doing it the old analog way, but we're going to do everything quantized to measures. Okay. That, I think, is it. Uh, you can see here that uh, we've got tempo sync. And in fact, if I hit the go button, you'll see here that. Um, the measure counter from sonar is rumbling along quite happily and it's resetting. So this is great sync. If anybody's seen the, uh, uh, the video I did for machine that does not handle any of this, anything like as well as sonar does, okay? All right, so let's get started. Um, actually, no, let's not get started. Let's also look at uh, a number of other things. You can, what else can you do? You can configure all of these buttons. You can add up to two full rows of buttons if you'd like to use the mouse. Um, since I have machine in here running as a, uh, just as a drum machine, which is not going through Mobius, because I figured that if I was doing it, I'd probably want to mash buttons in machine uh, for doing pattern changes. Um, so therefore I'm using uh, the machine controller as a controller uh, for Mobius. Actually, I'm using two. I'm using a Line 6 uh, Express pedal and the machine controller. Okay. So those need to be highlighted right here and plug in input devices. These do not need to be checked in Sonar's MIDI devices um, because the plugin can directly access those. All right. So then I did go into MIDI control, and I've mapped a bunch of things here. I have uh, mapped the eight um, knobs on the machine to be the track volume. I have mapped the, uh, the group pads to be the track selection. I've mapped um, the four top buttons, scene, pattern, pad mode, and navigate uh, to be the loop number uh, within a track. Um, Step left is undo, step right is redo, uh, record is record, uh, a hold on record is an erase, blah, blah, blah. This is all real easy to do because it's MIDI learn. Uh, once you uh, 
Oh, let me see. Let's pick up something I'm not going to use, but say instant multiply, uh, MIDI capture, and I'll put some, some buttons I'm not using. How about that? See, does that. Then if I would just come over here, hit new, then that function instantly uh, gets assigned. Okay. So that's it. So that's how you do the setups. Uh, I did a basic um, one for the uh, pedal as well, so that if I go over and play the guitar, I can stretch the USB cable out and, and use the pedal. All right, so um, so that's it. I did find that using the, uh, the mouse alone made it a little difficult, particularly when you're trying to uh, play with two hands. Um, but, you know, if you want to you know, glue a stick to your nose or something. I suppose you can use the buttons. Um, all right, here we go. Um, let's get it started. Um, oops, one more thing in the configurations presets. Do, 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 do. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, da, da. It's not here. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum. That means it must be global parameters. Okay, in global parameters, uh, you want to hit monitor audio input. And that really should be it. If you play something, it should uh, hit up on this bar here. All right, so I'm going to get the drum machine going. Then I will hit um, record uh, shortly after the fourth measure starts. It will wait until the loop begins, goes back to measure one, recording will start, and then uh, you can keep an eye on the counter up on sonar if you wish uh, to see where it, it goes. As soon as it passes four, you can hit record again. It will pause, uh, stop your four bar uh, recording. Uh, and you can record for any number of measures, of course. I'm just gonna hold this to four bars just for the sake of simplicity. You also will be able to see uh, the bar counter there, which is also useful. However, when recording, the most useful thing I see, if you keep your eye on this bar here, um, this will show you that this is recording one bar when it starts recording the second measure. Two bars indicate, then three bars indicate. So, uh, if you're going to record four measures, as soon as you see four measures up on here, you can hit record again uh, to stop uh, the recording. All right, well, let's actually see if I can do this. I'll start with a bass and do a bit of plucks and then, you know, maybe an arpeggiated rhythm pattern or something, but then we'll call that a day, okay, so. All right, so let's, um, let's get sonar going. All right, so it's synchronized, it's recording away. And four bars that come up. All right, so um, I've, the virus is no longer playing, that's all on the loop. See, and it's, it's keeping really, really quite good time. So I'm gonna come over to the second track. I'm gonna find some other
we go. Um, that's it. It's all working. Uh, once you get to this point, let me just uh, turn that down a bit. Once you get to this point, uh, you can start diving into um, the effects on the loops uh, and do all kinds of things. I mean, you can. Let's pick this one and then just go. like that yeah and you can speed toggle and that's taking the arpeggio pattern down to a almost like a bass line okay so uh, very flexible um, I hope that helps Um, if there's any particular questions, uh, put something in the comments and I'll try and answer. Um, but uh, this is just designed to get you up and going. And then there's huge amounts of information in the manual. Uh, hopefully, once you're here, you'll be able to go off and uh, explore things on your own. Okay, that's it. Mystic 38 out.